In this video, we'll import a Windows OS image from the Azure Marketplace and then publish that image in Horizon Cloud. This process also installs all the Horizon Cloud related agents. After logging into VMware Cloud Services, launch the Workspace ONE service and manage the Horizon Cloud service. At the top of the home page, you see some tiles that help guide you through the workflow. I'll just click Providers to verify that the capacity provider has been set up and it's Microsoft Azure. And click Horizon Edges to verify that at least one edge has been set up. I show you how to do these tasks in other videos. So now we're on to images. Because there are no images yet, we see this page. Another way to get here is to use the navigation pane on the left and come down to Resources Images. Click Start. For the image name, you have only 11 characters, so mine is a little truncated, but oh well. I'm going to create an image for a multi-session VM. You have to create at least one marker, otherwise you won't be able to add this image to a pool later. Next. Now for the source, we'll import an OS image from the Azure Marketplace. I actually have no other choice because I don't have an Azure custom VM that I've created and I have not yet published any images to the Azure Compute Gallery. Next. So for the site, Horizon Edge and Provider, these things are already listed because I deployed a Horizon Edge and I only have one, so there's no list to select from. For OS, I'm going to select a Windows 10 Enterprise multi-session desktop because then I'll be able to show you how to create both published apps and desktops. But you could select an RDSH server here or select an OS for a single session desktop. For Azure VM generation type, we'll go with V2 since it's newer and presumably better. We'll do without a GPU for this demo. If you want to use a model with a GPU, you will have to install the GPU drivers on the image after it's created. As described in the Microsoft article, install NVIDIA GPU drivers on N-series VMs running Windows. For VM model, there are so many models, I'm just going to use the default. Keep in mind that your Azure subscription needs to have enough CPU cores quota to accommodate the model you choose. This list is based on the model type and generation type I chose. We need to enable an external IP address so that after this image is imported, I can RDP into it and install any additional apps or drivers or make configuration changes. For the network, I only have one network configured from when I deployed the Horizon Edge. Here's where you enter a name and create a password for the local administrator on the machine. Don't use the name administrator though, because Azure doesn't like that. And then you have to have a Windows license. Click Add. The image is added. I've sped things up a little for this demo. Now it's been added to the table and you can click the image name to go to its details page. From there, you can click the version number and go to that details page and find out what the public IP address is. As I said, if you wanted to install additional apps or drivers or make some other configuration changes, you would do that now before you publish the image. Once you're ready to publish the image, you could do it from this version details page, or you could go back to the main image details page, select the version in the table, click unpublished, and then select publish. For destination, I only have one edge, so I'll select that. But if you had multiple edges, each serving thousands of users, you could publish this image to all of them, which is very powerful. Next. The VM is going to be optimized to remove features that really only have to do with physical machines. Also, Windows Store apps are going to be removed to help performance and avoid sysprep issues. We won't enable error recovery for this demo. Next. Now here are all the Horizon Agent features. We'll turn on app volumes even though I'm not going to show that feature right now. That way, if I decide to use app volumes in the future, the feature will be available. I'll leave the rest of the defaults, but you can see what they are and decide whether you want to use them. Next. We are going to let it scan for applications. That way, we'll be able to later select apps and entitle them to end users. This is only for multi-session images. And we will validate the image automatically after publication. We could do it separately later, but might as well do it now. 
I only have one network, so it is selected, and because I want to scan for apps and validate the image, I'll select the desktop subnet so that the system can generate a little test pool there to do the validation. Click Publish. Also, because I said to scan for apps and validate, the process is going to take a bit longer. To see what all is going on, you can go over to Monitor, Activity Logs, and then expand the events to take a closer look. Here you can see that it's adding the image, publishing, scanning the apps, and here you can see it's validating, RDPing in there, and installing the agent. We can occasionally refresh the page. And finally, success. Okay, we'll go back over to the images and it says it's published. Click the version to go to that details page and it also shows published. You could use that button to unpublish it if you ever wanted to. Publication is now complete, and we're ready to create a pool from this published image. For more Horizon Cloud technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.vmware.com.